keeping your privacy and your data for yourself has become a major challenge that we face every day. Or after this 10 minutes video, you will be very hard to track and you will still have the same online experience. In the first chapter, I'm going to show you how to make your own email completely anonymous and free of all trackers. You won't even need to change your email servers. Everything will stay the same, but the only thing that will change are the trackers. They are not going to make it to your inbox anymore. In the second chapter, I'm going to show you how to prevent websites, mobile applications, and any other online service that you use uh, from sending information about you and tracking your activity. So bear with me for the next 10 minutes because your privacy deserves it. Let's get started. Now, if you're not familiar with the concept of tracking, it's simply a technique that many websites and applications use to keep track of which pages you've clicked, on which websites you've visited, and they will basically use it to track your activities across multiple websites. That might also include your location, which times uh, you've actually used the app, and so on. This could be just used for the good uses, and that means giving you customized advertisement, but it could be also worse. They could just simply sell that data to the highest bidder. So that's why we're mainly interested in preventing those trackers from running on our uh, mobile telephones and on our laptops. So the first technique that I'm going to show you, it's mainly about protecting your email from trackers. Now, every email that you get from marketing or from some company most likely includes some tracker to see when you've actually clicked, whether you've opened that email or not, whether you've clicked on any of the images and how much time you might have spent on that email and so on. So to prevent that, we're going to be using the email protection service from DuckDuckGo. It's a new feature that they've added recently and they are trying to make your email more private by blocking all email trackers and hiding your email address in the process. So if you go to the DuckDuckGo email protection, just Google that, then you will get this page. You might be asked to install their Chrome extension, but that's all right. You only need it to manage the account. Once you've finished with the management, once you've set up your email, you're free to go. Now the email protection and privacy guarantee, they promise they will not save your email, but either ways, we, you might not want to use that for your banking account, for example, and that your information would be kept as personal as possible. They will not keep any information about you except for their forward email. We're going to talk more about that later on. Once you've clicked on the next button, you will see this screen where it says choose your doc address so the main service that they are providing is that they will make an email address for you you can use that email address for any registration or any website or any service and then once they get that email they will check it for trackers they will remove those trackers and then they will forward it to the email of your choice and that's what you see right now on the screen i've made an email called nur one security at duck.com and all the emails will be forwarded to my actual email that you see down there but that's not the trick yet because you can see that my name is still in the email and it's still kind of representative of me. So they took this a step further. Now, this is a super cool part, this private doc address generator. This is a randomly generated email address that you can use now to receive emails because what this address will do, receive your emails, clean it from the trackers and then forward it to your real email. And every time you can come over here, generate a new email address, and you can basically just completely hide your identity and stay free of trackers. Well, let's try it out. I'm gonna go on um, Norton and register for a subscription with them and see whether they will send me some trackers or not. All right, here you see the registration, email address and so on. And I have received the email from Norton. If I click on it, you can see that it has actually made its way to my normal Gmail. And at the top, they have removed one tracker. So it, I was correct, like Norton will actually send you a tracker to see how well it went with this email. You can see that the email was actually directed to my randomly generated email. So I'm completely anonymous in this case, and I'm still receiving my emails. Now I've decided to take this step further. I'm testing in some of the emails that I've got from Amazon to see if they will contain trackers. So I'm gonna actually forward them to uh, my randomly generated address and see if it will filter it out. And that's what happened. One tracker was actually removed. If you click on uh, more, it will show you what kind of tracker it, uh, it was. I had this hunch that Uber will also send me a couple of trackers as well. So I forwarded myself this Uber email and let's check it out. Yeah, of course, more than one. Why stop at one when you can send two? So it, the email actually contained two trackers and they were connecting to two different addresses invading my privacy checking when i actually viewed this email and how long i spent on it and so on but the good thing is with all this technology and all this anonymity that we've given us we still can actually use email as it was meant to be so for example i can reply to this email that i got through my anonymous email and then my anonymous email will send that email on my behalf so let me show you here i'm going to reply to uh, the email i'm going to say hi thanks for the tracker 
Then I'm going to go to my real email. You see that I've received an email from the random email address saying, hey, thanks for the tracker. So that's super cool. You can change that email to another random address, use it for to register uh, for another service and so on. So you can guarantee your anonymity continuously and say goodbye to all those trackers that were invading your privacy through your email. We use social media all day. So what about all the tracker and all the information that we allow those applications to take from us the whole time? Well, there's also a solution for that. And for that, we're going to be using NextDNS. Now, if you're not familiar with the concept of DNS, it's simply a mechanism used by any device. So whenever you click on a website, your browser or your telephone, your laptop, they will issue a DNS request. So they will basically try to find what the IP underneath this domain, because you cannot just connect to domains. You actually have to connect to IPs. And this is where next DNS come into play. They have a list of all the IPs that were related to advertisement, uh, data tracking, data analysis, uh, phishing as well, scamming, and they will just basically block them. They will not reply to the DNS request that will serve those trackers. So your trackers are there. Even if you click, if you click on accept cookie and so on, that tracker is dead because it cannot connect to the server because that server is most likely identified to contain methods of tracking. So you can see down there, down here that they block ads and tracker on websites and in apps because it basically will prevent any connection to any of the Google ad services, the Amazon services, the Facebook, the Samsung, so on. So many services that track your data today and they will just basically not allow those services to go which is super awesome to be honest so they will block a wide spectrum of trackers now to test next dns what i have done is that i've searched for a list of the most annoying websites with the biggest number of uh, trackers and advertisement so the top eight most annoying websites and i'm gonna first turn off my next dns and then i'm gonna go on those websites to see what they look like so i visited dictionary.com and you can see that it's basically just filled with advertisement up and down and left and right everywhere you click. Also went on Forbes and it just, it has an unbelievable amount of advertisement. You can see there is some advertisement up here, advertisement more on the right, scroll down and you get more and more advertisement. And why? Because this website is basically allowed to connect to its server that serves it with all those advertisements. So if we stop that connection, it's just won't be able to get those um, advertisements. So let me try it out. I'm going to start next DNS again and check this out. The web page is completely clear from all, all the advertisement that we had left and right and up and everywhere. It's completely gone. There's nothing there anymore, which is super good. Now that still does not give us a lot of uh, visibility into what's going on. So did it actually block some cookies? What kind of websites were they actually connecting to? So what you can do is go to the analytics part on NextDNS, and then you will get a good overview of, of what was actually going on. So for example, I've made now 157 queries and 20 queries were blocked. The blocks included uh, some advertisement for Amazon, some advertising for static scroll, more stuff by Amazon, of course. Why stop tracking me when you can just keep tracking me? Uh, I've also requested some more websites. I went a bit on Google, surf the internet, and you can see that it has blocked some more queries. Now there are queries connected, uh, blocked by Google Analytics, Google Tag Services, and Google Tag Manager. So, so many tags just to keep track of me everywhere online. And now they are not getting their connections anymore. So yay. Now the reason they were blocked because they were identified by next DNS ads and trackers block list. Now some more surfing and some more blocked queries, 118 queries so far. And that number will just keep on rising. The more you surf, the more queries will be uh, blocked. It's really cool because you can also look at the logs and then you will see exactly which domains were blocked. For example, you've got this tags.tixcdn.com that was blocked because it's next DNS ads and tracker block list, cdnoptimizely.com. Who are those people? Now, there are some more settings that you can use. You can, for example, um, make it show you a block page when some domain is, has been identified as an advertisement domain. Remember that you cannot just block everything because it might be the case that some trackers are not on that list for some reason. However, this will remove a huge portion of all the different services that were tracking you. So it's already a huge win for your privacy and it's definitely a step worth doing. Start taking care of your privacy. Start today. See you guys next time.